Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay Runyon and welcome to Communion at Home. Hi everybody, I'm Bradley Robinson, one of the Fall College interns and we're just super excited to show you what communion can look like at home. Yes, and one of the ways that we are doing that is taking these common elements that we use at big church but also have huge historical significance and wanting to make sure that you guys uh, can do this at home so that the ordinary becomes extraordinary by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, we just picked these things up from the store, so uh, just go check those clips out. Okay, so now that we have all of our ingredients and the elements for communion, what is communion to you, Bradley? Like, you know, no big question. No or big question, yeah. yeah. It's not like you know, the, the conversation with God that you have whenever you're taking these elements. Right. Um, but communion to me is really that acknowledgement of the relationship that we share with God mm -hmm. and a recommitting to, to striving for that, that image of, of Christ. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think for me, um, they always have that big, like John Wesley saying, it's an outward sign of like an inward grace. I love that. I love that. <laughs> um, and there's another uh, uh, historical theologian. He says the visible word. Um, so if worship is the way that God wants us to respond to him, these are kind of the acts and the ways that we see him moving in our lives and really seeing what that looks like. So for me, something uh, like communion is just super powerful to know that it's our response. Um, God is doing something in us and through us, and it's us. Um, that is receiving this from him. Absolutely, and that's that kind of points to the other side of it where it's yeah. corporate worship. Yeah. You are, you're taking a part of the body of Christ, but each and every one of us is also taking that. And so it really just points to that that unity under Christ and taking of, of these elements. Yeah, look at you. So it's like this personal, this communal, yeah. all at the same time. Yeah. yeah, and it's one of the reasons I actually chose uh, three loaves of bread because why not? <laughs> Um, so uh, I, I got the classic Methodist Hawaiian oh, bread, right? Yeah, the classic. Um, but something that we used um, at seminary is actually non bread. Um, so non is kind of closer to the pita bread, potentially what Jesus had used. Again, it's not unleavened like the Old Testament. Um, but then also some good gluten-free bread that freezes really well. So if you're just like practical, um, it's just something that's really good or for you to use. And also we've got uh, Welch's grape juice because why not? Um, Welch's uh, I think comes from a Methodist background, if I'm not mistaken. I could be making that up. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and then we also have water. Um, water might be something that you may or may not have seen um, pastors uh, use. No, it's not to just to dilute the grape juice. There's actual theological significance as well, um, which we'll talk about. So bread and juice um, are the two things that you need. Um, it really doesn't matter what type of bread. Um, it could be cinnamon raisin bread, is that, if that's all you have at home. It can be white bread, wheat bread, whatever you want it to be. Um, and then any sort of grape juice, concentrate, um, Concord grape, I don't know what other grape juices are, sparkling. Um, <laughs> whatever you have at home, whatever you want to buy at HEB um, or any grocery store, they will definitely have both of these common ingredients. Um, and some of the things that we uh, talk about uh, with communion, there's actually like three or four different types of communion, if you didn't know that. Um, so we have the Lord's Supper, um, which focuses a lot on the death of Jesus and kind of the last days of Jesus. And then we have communion, um, which really focuses on that communal aspect that you were talking about, this unity in Christ. Um, one of my favorites is uh, the Eucharist. It's the joy and the resurrection um, that is seen in these elements. And so it's really celebratory. Again, all of it uses the same liturgy, the same words, but it's kind of this focus and this flavor that we really get to see in our faith. Um, really be played out in these elements. So we invite you um, as a family, as roommates, just as you by yourself, whatever that may look like, to take communion at home, to 
take it with us as a church to know that we are the body of Christ, whether we're in person or virtually, to know that there's a mystery happening and we want you to be a part of it.